lots of friends and family here tonight and colleagues that I work with very, very closely. And I want to thank you for making it all happen, for all the ups and downs and the challenges of our work. Um, can't thank you enough, so I just wanted to extend that tonight as well. You know, I've been very fortunate uh, to have this opportunity to dedicate my personal and my professional life to the work of the International Medical Corps. And for that, I will forever be grateful to Bob Simon for giving me that chance. A uh, 27-year-old woman and uh, not many humanitarian organizations were led by people like me, and very few people would have ever been given a chance had not been for Bob. And there are a few special people who still serve on our board today that were essentially the, during the founding days. And it's their courage and their wisdom and their skills and their compassion that have brought us where we are today. January 12th will forever be marked by the devastator earthquake in Haiti. In fact, I was thinking of earlier when the chancellor was showing uh, the photo of 1906 here in San Francisco. I was actually here in the Bay Area when that earthquake struck for a meeting, and by the time I got back to Los Angeles a few hours later, I learned that our medical teams had already dispatched to Haiti, and the next day, less than 22 hours after the earthquake hit, these doctors, these volunteer doctors and nurses, some of who are here tonight actually, were treating crush injuries in a makeshift clinic in Port-au-Prince. When I visited Haiti myself, I knew that I would see doctors and nurses um, from our country volunteering side by side and working with local Haitian counterparts, helping them to be rebuild for the future. I spoke to an ER doctor there about the comparisons between what he saw then and what he saw before. And he said in the emergency days, many people were coming to our clinics and with broken limbs, but in today's world, they are coming to our clinics with broken hearts. So the challenge ahead in Haiti is great, as you can imagine. When we talk about our work at International Medical Corps, we use the word we all the time. And this is not for humble reasons whatsoever. It's because we know that our accomplishments are due to the tireless efforts of so many people, so many unsung heroes whose name you will never know. And so while it's my faith tonight that you see, it really truly is the faith of the Afghan woman doctor, or the face of the Darfurian nurse, or the face of our Haitian surgeon. They are the International Medical Corps. And they work every day in some of the toughest and sometimes hopeless environments at great risk to their own lives to carry out this work. There's about 4,000 people around the world right now as we speak. And I share this medal with all of them. And I want to again thank you for everything and for this great honor, but it really doesn't belong to me, as you can imagine. It belongs to the core, the International Medical Corps. And it's really made up of a lot of great, really heroic people around the world that helped us bring us to where we are today. So thank you.